Praise the Lord, dear friend. Thomas Manton IV here, coming to you with more words from the boss, the big boss. I'm continuing, I felt led to continue, led of the Holy Spirit to continue in the message I began yesterday, a very powerful prophetic word about the power of divine connections. In this volume two of that, I want to speak a lot about relationships and I want to talk about a deliverance from suffering. Because a lot of people have been suffering. A lot. Uh, with the things going on in the world, we know. I'm kind of past that in the spirit. Like it's, A lot of it's already broken. But a lot of mess going on. I, don't, I didn't come here to speak about that today at all. It's purely uh, from the spiritual realm of a great life. I'm going to speak about. I really revel and marvel and rejoice in the fact that God has me, has anointed me to teach people about life success, successful living. I thought so much about it. He thought so much about it. He had me write this book, Prophetic Keys to Successful Living. Prophetic Keys to Successful Living. This is awesome. This is going to be an ebook soon, and you'll be able to get it. You that are my partners will be able to get it. People are sowing that seed of the $77. You can continue to do that. I'll talk about that vision in a moment. I'll give you a chance to do that. Now, a lot of people have been suffering, and I want to prophesy. Welcome all you that are coming on. Please share this, and I will talk to you after the broadcast. We can communicate Right now I'm delivering this word, and I have just a few minutes. I need to really get it to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for utterance in the Holy Ghost. You, Ruach HaKodesh, Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. So, um, it's amazing to think about harrowing it's a bad word to think about horrific to think about how much people have been suffering but God has a deliverance for your suffering I found this verse in Lamentations chapter 1 Lamentations 1 and 7 talks about in the days of affliction They remembered all the pleasant things that they had in the days of old. Have you ever thought that um, another day was better than now? Sometimes there are, well, all the time, there are great memories of things we had before that were phenomenal. And, uh, <laughs> but I have to prophesy to you. Are you ready? It's going to get even better. It's going to get even better. What you want, God also wants for you. The people that you want are also wanting you. The dominant thought you have for success and breakthrough and good relationships and wealth and health and peace of mind and enjoying good living, God has it for you. That's part of God's plan. It's part of the gospel. The evangelistic thrust is about winning souls, and that is absolutely paramount. And then in the kingdom, in our relationship with the Lord, who made heavens and earth and made us and made everything, when we reconnect back with him spiritually, now he's also thinking about how we can have a great life and also influence other people and advance the kingdom. But I often say, when you want to help people, you got to first get help yourself. you got to help yourself before you can uh, help anybody else. So I heard, I heard this word from the Lord. He, he spoke to me about... Uh, an anointing for self-care. Is that awesome? The power of self-care. The Lord cares about you. And he wants you to be whole. 
He wants you to be holy, meaning one, one with him, connected with him, and that every good thing you can have, you know, every good gift that comes from the Father of lights, the Father, our Father in heaven above, and in, in him there's no darkness, there's no shadow of turning away from the good thing. He's, he only has the good thing, and that's all what he has. Numbers 23, 19 said, God will not lie. He's not a liar. And what he said and promised he will do for you and for me. Psalm 35, 27 said, He takes pleasure in the prosperity of the one who serves him. And that's us. Isaiah 45, 2 and 3 talk about treasures, hidden, even hidden treasures, unknown from unknown sources, known and unknown, are coming to us and into our hands. That's the great God that we serve. Now, I have to explain something. You need people, good people, if you're going to succeed. Say amen. Share this with someone. Hit the share button. Share this with everybody. They need to hear this. And yesterday's broadcast was phenomenal. The Power of Divine Connections, Part 2. I'm speaking a bit about relationships. Let me give you a few points here. So the day of suffering has to end. Like those people there we see in Lamentations 1, they were remembering how good it was before. But our God is bigger than that. He always has another season. He always has another season that's greater than the one we were in. And yes, we had great memories. Yes, we had great times. Yes, we had great moves of God. I, rem I reminisce about the revivals that I've had in, in a, a, all over the world, in all six continents of the world. And, you know, those times, you know, you have to cherish a moment because the moment won't come again. The way it happened that one time in that place or whatever, that was it. That cannot be repeated. You ever think when I'm fin you're finishing something and you think, well, I'll redo this again. And then you look even some years later, you never could redo that or revisit that exact place. That exact uh, people, the way it was. Uh, it'll never be the way it was again. It was a one-time thing that had happened. Now, God will do something else in a different place. He'll uh, maybe have you go back to an, a same place again, but it'll be different. So you have to cherish every moment. But let me tell you, let me prophesy to you, God has better moments ahead. Lift your hands and say amen. For me. Claim that. For me, better days are coming. My days of blessing are ahead of me. My days of the best relationships, the best friendships, the best connections, divine connections are ahead of me. <laughs> and they're coming. All right, I have to say this. You have to watch out for people and connections with people and relationships because when God wants to bless you, he'll send a great person into your life. But when the devil wants to mess you up, he'll send a bad person into your life. And I said this before, I think I said it yesterday, never try to resurrect what something God is killing. If a relationship isn't good, it isn't good. You may not see, you don't see everything about a person. And I said that as, this as point number four in my uh, chapter, my heading. I even have full color pictures in this book. Can you imagine? Of our crusades, children testifying and thousands of people. You see that's the altar call, the altar down here at our Sunday, at our, this is our, my Sunday meeting. Right here, brilliant. Look at that crowd. Phenomenal. Wow. That was very powerful. And uh, so this is uh, part of a relationship. So no, point number four here in the chapter on relationships. Um, if it's going to be weird later, it's weird now. If it's not going to be good later, it's not good now. So let God choose relationships for you. Pray about every relationship. If something's wrong in the future, there's something wrong with a person and the way it is, and it just doesn't seem to work, don't force it. I know a man of God that has that policy in his ministry. He says, around here in our ministry, if we have to force it, force it, push it, chase it, pressurize it, make it happen, fight so hard to make it happen, we, we cancel it. Because it's not in the flow. 
everything has to flow. Even my father told me that. The, the life, he, he, he gave this, my great father, he gave me this principle. He said, work by the flow, the flow principle. Things flow. They just work. And you want to be in that flow of favor. Now, over in the kingdom, under the spirit of God, which I led my father to the Lord, he's in heaven now. And my mom and my grandparents, they're all with the boss upstairs, as we affectionately say. And we'll see them later. About three weeks after my father died, in 2000 and, well, whenever that was, the Lord said to me, Thomas, your father is really enjoying heaven. I cried the rest of the day almost. I, I thought, wow, is that the greatest thing you could hear? It makes it all worthwhile. And all the suffering, all the suffering we go through. You know, Paul said, this light, this aff light affliction, because it's not permanent. That's why he called it light. Any affliction we feel or have is going to be put underfoot later and we're going to walk into the glory and live there forever in the glory of heaven in the glory of the Holy Ghost in the glory of Almighty God forever and ever and ever and then when we're there we're not going to be complaining about uh, what we suffered we will have forgotten about it but I tell you I want to tell you how to forget about it now <laughs> the closest here's another point the closest you can get to heaven and the relationship is through the Isaac relationship. The closest you can get to hell in a relationship situation is through the Ishmael relationship. I'm going to do a part three tomorrow, I believe, I hope. Because I don't have time to do the rest of this right now. But So Isaac was the promised one and Ishmael was the one made by the flesh. And it didn't work out very, it wasn't very pleasant. And, you know, the devil can, again, try to insert the wrong people in your life. You have to be very careful about choosing the right people in your world. In Jesus' name. I want to come on earlier tomorrow. I hope I can and do this a, bit, a little bit more. Your friends, you need to be careful. They're like a prophecy of your future. You've got to watch who you're around, you know. Some people just frustrate you. I was talking about this because they're on a low level. You need to find the higher level people. I was taught yesterday's broadcast, I dealt with that very well. You need to find a higher level people, the kingly kind of people, the royal kind of people, the favored kind of people, the powerful people, the anointed people, the brilliant people, the skilled people. You know, you need to You need to find them. Because friends are like waves. Who you hang around with are like waves. They can take you out to a bad place place in the water where it's dangerous or they can take you into the shore of a safe harbor depending on which way they are going another scripture we find from Proverbs a wise man will walk with wise men the wise will walk with the wise and become wiser but the companion of fools will suffer destruction got to be careful so choose your friendships and associations wisely wisely I want to say this you also need people that can really help you you need people that can help you wow that's so powerful you need people that can help you get on to the uh, the big thing of what God has planned for your life Father I'm going to prophesy right now I'm going to pray this over you right now Father in Jesus name remove every wrong person Every dangerous person, every dangerous relationship, every wrong relationship, every wrong connection away from all of my friends and partners and people listening. If you just came on the broadcast for the first time, I'm Thomas Manton IV, a follower of Jesus. I love the Lord and he loves me. <laughs> and everything we go through in this world is, is minimal, nominal, because... Uh, he, he's the boss and he has all power and all his power is in me it's in us greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world so we're overcomers but I'm praying this over you that the wrong people will leave your life with instant effect 
Because you can't build what you want to build. Wrong foundations, wrong people, wrong situations, bad environment. You don't just need people also to give you the, the lip service of saying that they want to do something. Because people can lie. But you want to know that it's real. And you want to look at somebody's uh, track record. And um, I'm just seeing these words in front of me. And I'm like, it's, like, it's like I'm reading off a teleprompter, the Holy Ghost. This is the prophetic anointing, folks. It's amazing, the prophetic teaching grace. I am amazed. <laughs> And this is rare. I know it's rare. So dive into this. Be blessed. Enjoy all our messages. And there's more coming. There's more we've done. And uh, welcome to my world, the world of the winner, the world of the prophet, the world of the prophetic grace, the world of victory and wealth and prosperity and blessing, divine favor and connections and, you know, all the, the ingredients for all that that come by the spirit of God. To a person's life. I'm pronouncing that over you. If you're an evil person. God knows and you know. And you short circuit your blessings. By being evil. So this doesn't apply to you. I could say it. But it's going to bounce right past you. Because God's not willing to put his blessing. Upon a, a person that's a, a cursor of, of other people. You don't want to be a damager of people. And think oh, oh you go to church. Some of the worst hypocrites, they go to church on Sunday morning, lift their hands, and they're singing and acting like everything's okay, but all week they've been doing all kinds of horrific things to other people. You cannot do that and get blessed by God. So this prayer is for good people, well-meaning people, innocent people, people that want to get ahead. Hmm? And I'm here for you. There's an anointing flowing. There's a grace from God. A power from heaven, the power of God from come being released to bring you the best of everything and to get rid of everything that's standing in your way. I pronounce this prophetically that every obstacle that's standing in your way is being removed from you. Every setback, everything that's derailing you from your life mission, everything that's hindering your progress making you lose time and be stressed and frustrated. Man, I feel the anointing flowing here. Release that fire upon him right now. That's it. Somebody just got hit by the power of God right now. You write me and tell me. It's tangible. It's coming off like dunamis power right now. I feel that preaching, that power to preach, that preach fire coming upon me right now. It's a very special anointing. It's here. He's here. The Lord is here with that. Receive it right now. Wow, Uraba, Ristaka, Renju, Kusa, Kia, Mamma, Chido, Marbury, Kila, Sokole, Chiaka, Tete, Bo, Salaba, Chiakaya. Receive the touch of heaven right now. Wow, woo, just pour, pour. Those who are watching the replay of this, keep playing this back. Especially this part right now. Just replay this and tap. Put your hand on the screen. Grab the phone. Put it on your next to your head. Touch your heart with it. There's tangible release of fire from heaven. From the Holy Ghost coming upon you right now. Right here on the earth where you are. From where I am. To you. This is a point of contact. This media thing. This phone or laptop or tablet or whatever you're listening through. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you for the touch of heaven, Father, for the divine relationships, divine connections, no stress. All stress be broken. Take, take your precious people out of wrong environments. I hear the Lord saying this. If you're in the wrong job, he can move you to a, to a better job. You don't need to be in a stressful workplace. If you're in a house and you're with people that are just not right, God can make give you a way of escape. That's not too radical what I'm saying because you may need it, for your, you'll need it for your well-being, for your sanity. Hello. Hi. Don't think you have to stay somewhere. Well, that's my family and that's my people that I know. And oh, God, no way. You can have a good environment. Now, the problem is if you married somebody and it's a stressful situation, you said I do. It's not easy to say I don't. I said I do, but now I want to say I don't. Oh, it's complicated. Uh, it would take me a long time to explain more about that, but you know what I mean. 
So you have to make the best of it and make it work. I can't dive into that right now. But if you're any other relationship, you can opt out. You can get up and leave. You can move. You can shift. You can find the right people. You only live once in this in this dispensation of time right now. So we have to make the best of it. And I pray the best will happen for you in Jesus' name in every way, in success and opportunity, the right people, the divine connections, the right relationships, the right friendships, the right helpers, the right networks, the right influencers to connect with you, people of great high esteem and renown or, or well that's their business if they're renowned but i mean somebody people that can be touched by god to help you and to open doors for you and i prophesy that's happening for us i was talking to a man from south africa he's in the usa now and he just had an anointing come i just felt led to call him and we we were supposed to talk and i just clicked his i saw his name pop up in my in my phone and i just <laughs> in my, uh, whatever that, communication uh, software. And it just like, boop, I saw his name. I was like, Poof. it just came up. So I just hit it, boop, and he answered right away. Uh, I think he was said he was driving and he called me back, he called me back. And then he, he while we're talking, when he got to his house, when, when he got, we got to talking and the Holy Ghost, he said like a mantle came over him and he began to declare and prophesy things that were so powerful about networks, about nations, about us having the impact in many nations, the right people. It was the same flow of the word. And the Lord spoke to me to speak to you and all of our audiences about the power of divine connection. So this is volume two. I will continue this, uh, uh, Lord willing, and he is, I believe. And we will see you here then. The Lord knows what you need and want. And he has it for you, my friend. So get ready for that in Jesus' name. Now, before I go, I have to tell you about this vision I had. I had a vision of a cloud and it had the seven attributes of God, like from Revelation 5.12. Um, Revelation 5.12. About power, wisdom knowledge and uh well no uh power wisdom riches glory blessing honor all those things and then for the purpose of dominion because he was the lamb who was slain before the foundation of the world to receive dominion back but then he didn't need it himself he's god so he wanted to give it to us so now here here comes Jesus giving us these things and I saw it in a vision Then I saw a man standing on the other side like in another like in a cloud we're in need of those things that another scripture we talk about Isaiah 11 2 that says uh, knowledge wisdom wisdom knowledge understanding counsel might and the fear of the Lord those attributes again in the seven the spirit of the Lord himself and then those six attributes not wisdom knowledge understanding power physical strength and the fear of the Lord, which is reverence for God, which is the beginning of everything. As the scripture says, it's the beginning of knowledge, is the beginning of understanding, is the beginning of wisdom. To fear the Lord, I mean to have reverence for him, to want to do things his way, to want to follow his commands. Hmm? A lot of people don't have it. They have no soul. They lost their conscience. That's why they could be such criminals and act like the devil running around the world. But not you, not me. No, can't do it. We fear the Lord. We have the grace of God upon us. So now, I saw those come together. And <laughs> like the two clouds came together. His perfection with our need for perfection. Boom. Seven and seven. And the seven, two came together like that. The seven and seven came together and made like one thing. And I saw the number of 77. In an open vision, I saw this. It was a spiritual open vision from the Holy Ghost from heaven. Listen, this is the purest, most anointed, powerful thing. And this will produce, when God shows something like that and gives an open vision like that, wow, I mean, it's going to produce the miraculous. So he said to me, 77, I thought, huh, you know what I'm going to do, Lord? 
and he, of course he was leading me this way. Of course, it was all the thought was all from him, but I figured it out quick in an instant. I said, I'm going to make that a seed, seventy-seven dollars. I'm sowing that. I'm going to do that now. I did it, and the floodgates of miracles began to open to me. Within twenty-four hours, I'm telling you what happened. So I said, this is so good. I'm going to do it again. And then more came, and I said, this is so good. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. There may be some, you know, there's some attachment to this anointing in that. I'm not afraid of that. I'm okay with that. Let it be like that. Let people know to get this, to get this blessing flowing. I'm telling you. And the people that are sowing that seed and sending to me, you are going to see the miraculous for you financially in the realm of favor and what I'm teaching about, the realm of divine link-ups and connections and the right relationships and the wrong people that are clouding your world and messing you up and making you feel bad and stopping your progress. They're going to exit from you. You're going to be able to see them go from your world. And the Lord is going to um, just enlighten your world with a new season and a new thing. Are you ready for that? So the way you can do that, the um, information on how you can sow will be in the heading of the title here and also of the message and also in the comments. And please do write to me. Somebody sent one through a bank. And it only had the bank uh, information, but I didn't see the name. So the person that did that uh, sewed it from the bank thing. Please do write me uh, on my WhatsApp or private inbox me here. And the WhatsApp number will be also in the comments and in the heading. You'll see the number there, the local number in uh, where, yeah, and the WhatsApp number. So you can do that. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. You need to write me your prayer request when you're uh, communicating because I want to pray for you. Hmm? According to Isaiah 48, 17, the Lord says, I'm the Lord your God. I'll teach you the prophet, but you need a prophet, the voice of the prophet to help you profit. And the Lord will lead you in the way you should go. Like I was saying, out of the wrong places, Wrong relationships, wrong situations into the right ones, into the right place with the right people for the right reason, for the right result. And it will all happen supernaturally. That realm of favor, my friend, is coming upon your life. If you can receive that just as a point of contact right now in Jesus' name. What an anointing here. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and has no sorrow. It's coming upon my precious friend and partner right now in Jesus' name. And anybody that's joining us, coming to experience us for the first time, that's great. You're welcome. Karibu. Karibu sana. That's Swahili for welcome. You're very, very welcome. <laughs> Love you much, and I'll talk to you here tomorrow. Twanani Kesho. That means see you tomorrow. And Gioni Jema, which means have a good evening. Siku Jema, have a good day. And the Lord bless you richly. I love you very much and I'm praying for you. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Make sure you write to me with your prayer request. And oh, when you are sowing that seed, I want to send you an e-copy, an e-book of this printed book here, which was sold out of either the Benefits of Excellence or the laws of success, your choice. You can have either one by e-book, okay? And I'll be glad to send that to you. But you have to remind me and you have to send me a note and tell me which one you want and I'll send it to you in Jesus' name. Even on WhatsApp, I can send the link or by email, however you want to receive it, just let me know. And uh, I'm praying over your seeds. I'm praying over your request that God will answer by fire. It is your time to prosper. It is your time to be in the right environment. It is your time to have the right relationships. It's your time to have the right connections. In Jesus' mighty name, so be it.
Talk to you on the very next broadcast. I love you much. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.